Welcome back. It's still Plus Politics in case you just joined us. We are moving to uh, the second segment of the day where we are looking at uh, what is going down in less than 72 hours from now. And that is, I mean, talking about the governorship candidate of the PDP in a dual state election, Godwin Obaseki, he has faulted claims made by the national leader of all progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Governor Obaseki said that uh, Senator Tinubu cannot extend his political empire to Edo State, noting that Edo people were determined to end Godfatherism in the state. Joining me live online to discuss this is Greg Ogyogwa, a PDP chieftain based in Edo State. Good evening, Mr. Greg. Okay, uh, before we bring in Greg, let, let's take a listen to this uh, soundbite from Senator Ahmed Bolatinumbu. And the leader of all Democrats, regardless of political party, to our conscience and our commit commitment to democracy today on the forthcoming election in Edo State. I want to appeal to you to reject Godwin Obasaki in this coming election. Today, he now comes around as a Democrat, wanting you to vote for him, please. I appeal to you, reject him. Once again, good evening, Greg. Good evening, Kaudi. I hope you can hear me properly. We can hear you properly. We may have to quickly rush through some of the issues we need to treat this evening. Yes, the issue now, uh, yesterday we were supposed to have a PDP representative, but unfortunately nobody showed up, and now we have you. So ABC had said so many things, and we are going to be having you react to some of them. Let's start with um, the, the back and forth, the exchange of words between the national leader of APC and that of um, uh, your candidate, Governor Godwin Obaseki. Uh, Senator Tinubu raised two critical issues that we, I want you to react to. Number one, that uh, it seems to be a pseudo-democrat denying the legislative arm from functioning as another arm of government. Then he also mentioned the issue of um, uh, that he was not really a party man, that while he was in the party, he was not there to build the party. Let me quickly have your reaction on these two issues first. Well, you know, uh, Senator Ahmed Bolatinebu was totally out of order. Number one, he doesn't come from the state. He doesn't come from the state. And obviously, he's not aware of the issue, the legal issues that were behind the operation of the um, House of Assembly. You know, <laughs> he was not aware of it. He, he is just intent on pushing an agenda that himself and uh, Adam Jotumoni were trying to perpetrate in the state which is the continued uh, situation of godfatherity. And Edo State has been very well known for ending godfatherism. You know, we did that with the PDP earlier on, 2003, thereabouts. Uh, we did that with uh, the UPN when we thought that the UPN was being the total over it. So we have the reputation. In fact, if you go back into it was in Edo that the first beheaded British imperialists when they came to, to, uh, to start to invade the Lincoln Kingdom. So we have a reputation of ending Godfatherism, whether it is Bola Ahmed, whether it is Atropole, whether it is the Leeds Chief Tony Anekido, anybody who comes forth projecting himself or attempting to be Godfather in Edo will be politically capitated. Simple. You know, it's, we, we, swore, we swore an oath to that, and Comrade Adam Tushomole was part of that in, in 2007, 2008. We said, say no to Godfatherism, and we put it out everywhere. We went all over to one man, one vote. He knows. So he knows that he, what he's doing, himself and Ahmed Bukati, they're playing a political agenda, and they know it's not good, at least in Edo State. Okay, Greg. I don't know the link. 
Greg, let's quickly. Be... Try and notice funny things. Then we got the uh, uh, people who did Lagos in our body. What concerns him with the state? What's his business? Greg, let's let's also look at it from this angle. Before now, we had uh, the presidential candidate of PDP also endorsed Governor Godwin Obaseki. We had. Uh, uh, the governor of uh, River State endorsed him. We are the governor of Delta State endorsed him. So what is wrong with the national leader? Who else will he endorse if it is not uh, his candidate? So why the hue and cry about no, Tinubu? Nobody says, nobody says you should not endorse the chair, but you don't condemn the fact that why you're trying to endorse No, you the said they should reject. That's absolute, that's absolute both of that. You don't do that. Endorse your candidate. If you wish, but you don't condemn another candidate because he doesn't know the facts of the Edo House of Assembly. The facts of the Edo House of Assembly is that so everything that we're talking about uh, is before the courts of before the courts of law. He has no to pronounce or to take any 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 kind of pronouncement in that direction. That's number one. Number two, when he says when he's talking about pseudo democrats, was well, it not Bolatin who 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 created uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, community development uh, uh, areas, it is local development areas in Lagos. SCDA. Yeah. He did follow the constitution of Nigeria. Was it not because of that that Pastor Joe will help his, uh, his uh, what's it called? His, his uh, allocation, federal allocation for too long. And who were the people that helped him to overcome that problem? Was it not people like who designed the cash plan for him to help him to generate uh, revenue in Lagos? Even when Pastor Joe was not giving him revenue. What's he coming to talk about? What's his business in Lagos? He should he cannot he can even dictate in Lagos any longer. Because he knows that when he finished his godfather is in Lagos, we are coming for him in Lagos. We are coming for for, 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 for the man in body in Lagos. We are removing the father is in Nigeria, no matter where it comes from. Even Buhari himself knows that after this, that this one that we doing now, we are urging him, we are just easing him out gently because we are gentle people and, and we love our people and our and our elders. But after this, nobody is going to take to Nigeria. Nobody is going to tell us who is Okay, Greg. Greg, Greg, let's look at it. We decide. Let's look at Nobody. I, I, I'm trying to make you or, maximize or, the or time. From anywhere will come and tell us who's Greg, who's Greg, because of time. Let me let me let me let me get it clearly to you because of time because we might not respond more than twice before we round off. Now, what he did say is that reject Obaseki. How will they vote for his candidate if they don't reject the main opponent? And I'm sure you can also agree with me that even in civilized climate, more civilized climate like United States, you see the kind of tantrums that is flying between Donald Trump and. Uh, you know, Joe Biden, when he's saying that uh, he has a clown as a competitor. So wh why are we so, um, you know, what is wrong with that statement? I reject this candidate and accept my candidate. On what, on what, on what is the basis? What is the basis of, is it, is it of the basis of character? Because if the basis, if the basis is a character, one of the candidates is standing trial for a 700 million naira fraud. That is the target um, of the APC. He's standing trial for 700 million naira fraud. The other person, got in the he doesn't have an insight in against him, has ruled the state for four years constructively, progressively, and with determined focus. So who is it that who, who is to be who is to, to, to be rejected? And for the fact that they are put himself in that position, he has shown that the policy of APC and they are talking about the fight against corruption. It is the same APC. That tried to okay. be a, a spokesman to Lisa Bettin and jailed him for this same offense that Osage Zayamu is standing trial for. Osage Zayamu is standing trial for 700 million for the same offense that Lisa Metu is in jail for. Now, now the tantrums have started. Okay, right finally, person. finally, you I want you to take okay. this. I want to give you this bonus. Uh, we did this with ABC yesterday. What do you think would be the defining moment for the candidate on Saturday? Is it going to be about personality? Is it going to be about performance? Somebody who is a pastor, who is collecting money that should be used by the military to fight against Boko Haram. And they are telling us that we're supposed to be. Do they think that we are stupid in those days? Do they think we are mad? Greg, I mean, you are know, you willing to answer my question? 
You have 30 seconds, and I want you to maximize it. What will be the defining factors on Saturday? It is safe for Edo people to come out to vote, and their votes are safe. We will protect their votes. Government, PDP, and the people will protect our votes on Saturday. Other Tinubu can go and dump in a well. You know, I don't no, 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 no. I'm not going to allow you to say that on national TV. Uh, Greg, Greg, that is not going to fetch you any votes. I do not think that statement is necessary. Greg, thank you for being my guest, but just for record, will not allow you to use on civil or civilized comments. Just like we did with APC yesterday, we will not allow you to say somebody will jump in too well. We'll wait to see on Saturday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Greg Giogua. I know it's always always like this, but it's okay. The people will decide on Saturday and we will know the winner. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Okay, uh, let me give you my take on this issue before we go. It is less than 72 hours to the Edo governorship election and it does not appear that the tension is over and is ever going to go down. INEC on its own is reeling out warnings against vote buying. The security agencies are sounding repeated threats against possible violence to potential perpetrators. United States is threatening visa ban on potential election riggers. The revered monarch, the Oba of Benin, succeeded in bringing the political gladiators under one roof to George all and not war war. The civil society is calling for peaceful conduct, but the politicians have not toned down the political rhetorics and accusations. One thing is certain, the election will be won and lost. It is only hoped that it will be a true reflection of the will of a do people. It will not be a case of rape of justice. It will be the beginning of a true and civil exercise devoid of rancor and violence. Thank you for staying tuned with us. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time on the same station. I am Coyote Ladende, saying bye for now.